awesome. We made it. Excuse the film crew. I didn't bring them. Uh, <laughs> I didn't think I was going to make it here, but uh, I've weathered the storm, the worst of it. I've shat myself silly. <laughs> We're here. Uh, usually I prepare better, but given the last 48 hours have been spent on the floor of a bathroom, I apologize. I'm going to be reading much of today. Uh, so welcome, everyone, to the first ever Crossover Summit. Theories put forth about what we're doing today, uh, including going to the A10 tournament, Michael Jordan coming here to hang with us, uh, moving into a new office. Uh, sadly, none of you were right. This is a celebration today of our team, our accomplishments, and then looking forward into building this into a world class company. Um, Flicker is not good. All right. Um, so on November 26, 2008, about three months after I had barely graduated from Penn, I hired a ridiculously overpriced lawyer um, to incorporate the company Crossover Intelligence Inc. I picked the name for a couple of reasons. Um, I wanted the company to have something to do with basketball, hence the crossover. Um, I wanted it to be something to do with business intelligence and analytics, hence the intelligence. Uh, but most importantly, Crossover Intelligence was available, .com was available for seven bucks on, on GoDaddy and I snatched it up. It wasn't until nearly a year later that I could actually afford the $750 that it costed to buy Crossover.com, uh, which is a great domain name. So I started the company with a loan from a friend and no clear idea of what I was actually going to build. All I knew that it needed to be a, a sports technology company and some kind of analytics product seemed to make sense to me. Over the course of a year, I met three people who joined the cause, and although only one of those people is still here today with us, uh, it, they're not dead, they just... <laughs> uh, it would be amiss for me to not recognize the long hours and sacrifices that Manish, James, and Alex gave us so that we could get the first version of this product off the ground. So all of our development was taking place in India, which is where I grew up. Um, I felt that the cheap cost of labor, along with the fact that we could have games broken down there for cheap as well, um, would make that a, a good place to get started. So Girish, Rajesh, Sagar, and Anirudh made up our team in Bangalore, and despite many grumblings that you'll hear from our tech team today about, uh, about our system being shaky, without the four of them there would have been no product for us to take out to sell to coaches that first season. In the summer of 2010, Manish and I headed out to the Nike Coaches Clinic in Las Vegas uh, with a barely functioning prototype of our product and a lot, lot of hope in our hearts. The first day, a coach named Sean McInnes came to our booth to see what we were up to. Over the course of the next 48 hours, he visited us several times, each time asking more and more questions about what we were doing. He took my card and promised to be in touch. A week later, I opened my mailbox to find our very first check and our very first customer. It turned out Coach McInnes' team had been on a 63-game losing streak dating back three seasons. That summer, we broke down all of their previous year's game film as part of our beta testing of the system and allowed him and his team to review all of the mistakes they had made and holy shit there were a lot of them. <laughs> Over the course of the 2010-2011 season the King Philip High School Warriors led by Jake Lehman who's currently playing for Maryland went 16 and 8 losing by six points in the Massachusetts State semifinal game. Crossover was on the map. With 50, <laughs> with 50 customers somewhat successfully using our product, we were able to raise a couple hundred thousand dollars in funding and begin building a more robust product. We hired a few developers here in the U.S. and a few more in India, and we began working on version two of the product, which would use a more advanced way of structuring our indexing data, something we called flat indexing. That February, we also hired our first sales rep, Buddy, out in Texas, and he had an immediate impact having successfully sold an amateur hour product called Huddle or something like that. Um, we went from 50 customers to 350 that year and had all sorts of growing pains trying to support that many uploads and breakdowns. Ten days before Christmas, our, our system completely broke down under the pressure, and the, for the next two weeks we were unable to have any games come in or have them broken down. When we got back online, the backlog was so immense that it almost took us six weeks to get through all of the old games and get back on track for the rest of the season. Everyone in the company, including myself, were helping break down in QA games to push them through. 
I was certain that this was the end of the company and it was in sight and that these customers and their coaching buddies would be gone forever. Amazingly, our product, even in that dilapidated state, was better than the alternative and we hardly lost any of those customers. After that disaster, we felt invincible. We were certain that we could never screw up that bad again. Six months later, our then CTO accidentally ran the wrong command and deleted every single video in our database. Luckily, a large percentage of those were backed up somewhere and we managed to recover them, but hundreds of those games were lost forever. And this time, I was certain that things couldn't possibly get any worse. Until January of 2013, that is, when the same CTO decided it was a good idea to launch HD in the middle of a season with 750 customers. Once again, our servers practically melted under the load and we found ourselves fighting a fire instead of continuing to grow. But once again, our great customers forgave us. Through all of these growing pains, and this clicker, Jesus Christ, <laughs> all right, I'm, uh, I'm going to let the clicker leave. Uh, through all of these growing pains with our product and our lack of funding, we never gave up. With it, like a cat with nine lives, or like every time LeBron flops, we found a way to get back up every time we were on the ground. Today I stand before the 50 of you completely incredulous that we made it this far and that we are stronger than ever. While some of it might be luck and some of it might be resolve, I, re I really believe that the reason we're here today is because we're, we're building something special that can truly change an industry. 20 years from now, I want people to say that Crossover is a reason we have a new breed of athletes that are no, not only bigger, stronger, and faster, but also smarter because of the data that we give them that allows them to play better. 20 years from now, I want Jake Lehman to be able to show his kids the footage of how his high school team nearly won a state championship. Every one of you here today has the opportunity to have a very special label that will, that will be attached to your name, a legacy that you can carry with you. You can say you were part of the crew with a K that changed sports forever. This past basketball season is the first time since we started the company that we were able to go from start to finish without disaster striking. A big reason for this is our operations team. A bunch of dudes that sit in the corner office staring at their laptops all day long. I'm not even sure if they, if they shower regularly, but I know that we can count on them no matter what. Their ability to turn games around this year at the lowest cost and the best quality is why I feel confident when we start to plan for 7,000 teams this year and 20,000 in 2015 that we're not going to have any problems. So Amin, Jake, Jared, and Andrew, wherever you guys are, and Dan, uh, while there is no apparent glory in your job, it's, a, it's important for you guys to remember that without what you do and do so well, there would be no crossover today. The inspiration for today has been brewing for some time now. Um, I'm a huge believer in the fact that championships are won on the bus and not on the floor. What I mean by that is that teams that are successful generally have a strong relationship outside of the court, um, and, and in our case, outside of the office. I've personally seen how much better I play with guys on the court that I spend time off, off and, and guys that I'm really good friends with, and I have no doubt that the, true, the same is true in our workplace. The more of all of us feel like we're on a mission with our friends, the more we're going to be willing to give our 100%. Most importantly though, my hope is that 20 years from now, regardless of whether this company has gone public or whether we've sold, all of us here today can agree to meet again in a great venue like this and laugh about the grand times that we had as part of this team. Today is going to be an exciting day. We're going to hear from a lot of accomplished people. We're going to learn a lot more than we could ever hope to from just sitting in the office doing what we do every day. So a couple of logistical things for you guys. I don't know where my bag is, but all of you hopefully got a bag. Did anyone not get a bag? Anybody, not bad, we made it. Um, there's a t-shirt, a power pack, so you don't run out of juice today. Uh, there's a pack of candy. Matt, you didn't eat the candy, right? Or not yet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so don't eat the candy. The candy will determine what team you're on as part of our coaches panel uh -huh. or, or the breakout session that's going to happen right after our coaches panel. Um, eat. Did someone eat the candy? I was this close. <laughs> uh, there's, also, there's also an envelope that has puzzle pieces in it. Don't open that until the first team competition. Uh, there's three floors to this fantastic venue. Upstairs we have two tables. Downstairs we have three tables. Each of those will be used for one of the breakout sessions, so we'll explain more as, as we get to that point. Um, the point of today is not just to work with people that you might otherwise never interface with in the company, but it's to get your hands dirty and to have a lot of fun doing it. 
So everything today is being filmed on two cameras. There's our camera here, and then there's this fantastic film crew led by Sean behind us. They're filming a show for Japanese TV that we're all going to be on. So if he sticks a camera in your face, please oblige, be on your best behavior. Everything's being filmed. Um, so our first event's going to start in a couple of minutes. It's going to be the crossover coaches panel. We've got five fantastic coaches here, uh, and it's going to be moderated by our very own Jackie. So I'm excited to get this day started. Thank you for coming. It's going to be a lot of fun. So let's get going, all right? Thank you.